All right, I'm at Rock of Ages here, and this is in uh, Garden City, Michigan. Rock of Ages has been around for quite a while. They've been in this place, I don't know, boy, 20, 30 years, maybe more. Uh, they were in a different place, but um, it's a pretty wild store. So let's go inside. There's some really interesting things. Alright, here we go. This is more than just... Yes, there are records. And CDs. And there's lots of them. Right. Rip. Heavy road, marked down, better price. So much beanies. I used to call them stocking caps, but I guess they're not called that anymore. There you go. I mean, this place is wild. So many things. Puzzles. Laser discs. I used to work in this area about 15 years ago, district manager, or actually regional, I guess at the time of Kmart. That's so why I would come in here at times. Um, they have a whole other warehouse just where they have all this vinyl. This really was predominantly a CD shop, and that's what they specialized in. But obviously with vinyl resurgence, you gotta go vinyl. But you can see, they got lots of everything. Miles Davis and Devil Driver, right together. Just the way it should be. For those that like to dig, I mean, this is like a digger paradise. I'm going to get a um, thing from YouTube. It's a plant with Rammstein. That never goes well. It's just amazing. It's used CDs, new CDs. And lots more CDs. 45s. And there's extra collectibles too. Some records. <laughs> okay, <laughs> they're all behind the counter. That's the first time I've seen that. It's all collectible. All right.
so many different things here. Bathrooms. Now I've never seen that before. Very neat. More. This is a place you need to have time to dig. And can you find deals? Yes. There you go, lots of dollars, lots of dollar CDs. Decals. I think the decals are called bongs. Shirts. Shirts. More shirts. Look at that. Posters. Okay, so this is getting long, but this place is incredibly big, obviously loaded with stock, vinyl records. Sometimes they get kind of hard. When they get full, obviously, it's harder to do. It's an S, it's for Santa. So it's not broken down by genre, it's just, it's alphabetical, but it's alphabetical in two different places, so maybe it's due to conditioning, I don't know. Though somehow Phil Collins was in there. University of Michigan. All right, new more new vinyl. And for those, baby rock and roll. New vinyl, 45s. Amazing place. <laughs> they, they, they have to have it. If you can't find it here, I don't know if you're going to find it. And it's my midweek. And I'm sitting on the floor, and my big worry is there's nobody home to get me up off the floor so I just may be rolling around here afterwards I, I don't know how this is going to work out I don't I don't do as well with this kind of stuff anymore but first you know we're going to have two parts I have some great albums I want to show you that people in the VC have made have put out and they're perfect for Christmas they're great Christmas presents well worth looking into or just supporting them. And I want to feature some of these that I personally have. Uh, the, the other part is, um, at, well, at the beginning, you saw I, I did a record store tour, Rock of Ages. It's in Garden City, Michigan. Been there for a very long time. The place is gigantic. There is so much other stuff that 
it's half record score and half anything else i'm telling you now the, the the owner is very political and he wears his politics on his sleeve and that's his right that's up to him you don't have to shop there if you don't like it but i definitely a trump supporter and you will see that in there with the t-shirts and the hats but he's willing to say you know what if you don't like it you don't have to shop me so that's you know good good for him you know I, that's that's the beauty of America you can do that and it's his decision on what to do and so uh, he's wearing his heart on his sleeve his politics on his sleeve the store itself the first time I boy I, you know I've gone there for a number of years I uh, kind of back in my Kmart days back in the early teens it, it was it was all CDs well he has gotten into vinyl but the thing is, it's not set up for that. So you see this vinyl in a lot of different spots in these tubs and, and on top of tables where he puts it in boxes. So it's it's not as well organized. You can dig, you can find some things in there. Some of it's good, some of it's a little high. He also has some new vinyl. CDs, this is the place. He has lots of them. Plus, he has budget CDs, dollar CDs. You'll see in one of the shots there you saw, there's this bin, so they're just heaped in there. You just have to dig. So for those that like to dig, that's great. There is, <laughs> there's nudie magazines. I don't often see those in record stores. So many 45s. I, it's just, and of course, plates. Who You know, you got to have some plates. So... Uh, yeah, nice people. You know, I, I had a good visit in there. I, it was it was it was a nice time. Uh, you know, generally, you know, just honest. I, I think his prices are a little higher, but yet I, I can't find deals in there. You have to look. So uh, just the store's growing, and now he's kind of grown to a, you know as far as he can go. Uh, he has a whole bunch of other records, so we'll see. So uh, rock rock of ages. So the next part is in the VC, one thing that I'm always impressed is with the musicians. A lot of you play instruments and you may not have a <coughs> excuse me, you may not have a group. Well, at least you know how to play an instrument more than me. I mean, I, I played a piano a cornet, but didn't really practice. So you get what you practice, right? Don't practice. I'm not a child prodigy. But some of you have groups, some of you have recorded music, and that's that's impressive. And, I, and I'm just I was in uh, Derek Higgins. He's put out a number of albums a long time. Um, you know, a musician Bob Bradley going to band camp, and or um, you can you know Bob Bradley, and it's um, Condors in the System, I believe. Uh, and, and you can download, in fact, I've downloaded some of his music and some really good rock stuff that you can find in there. Well, I, I want to feature some of the things that I have from various artists within the VC or commenters, but you're in the VC and you comment. Uh, quite a few of you may have albums or you might be in groups and I don't even know about. And, you know, you just have, have to let me know so I can investigate. But the first, we're just going to start with this. This is a special signature calling card. When you see this, it means only one thing. It's 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 a mouse. It's a very fat, kind of a mousy pig uh, thing. No, this is Michael P. Dawson's. This is his signature. Michael P. Dawson, check out his channel, has produced a lot of music. And I have uh, his albums and his CDs and they're wonderful and so he put out this one this year and i uh, i had this in c in fact i featured this before i featured it in cd on my channel when it came out well it came out in vinyl so i went and i made sure that i purchased a vinyl copy of this this is just great electronic music it this it's a concept album dealing with kind of the beginning of uh, the kind of Big Bang Theory during, and, you know, dealing with legends and where the turtle is in the legends of um, the creation of the Earth. So you start on side one with the cosmos being created and on side two with Earth being created. Wonderful album. Go on to Bandcamp 
and you can find this. Well worth looking into along with his other albums. Now, I, will, I do want to say thank you to Michael. When I ordered this album, he did send me also uh, Haydn here. We have Haydn Symphony number 103 and 104, drum roll. Haydn, man, that guy was prolific. He did so many symphonies. He's like putting out one every, every, every other day. Kind of some people can do that with videos. That was Haydn with his music. And then he sent me this uh, Walter Carlos Switched on Bach 2, which Switched on Bach is just plain fun. I'm a huge Bach fan. Uh, you can't go wrong with that. Uh, but then he uh, <laughs> he just sent this for, for Christmas. And it was very kind of you, Michael, and I, I do appreciate that. It is kind of pre-opened a little bit already. A little bit, it is. And it is uh, Third World from I.E. Keta. This is the uh, group of Steam Woodwood, where he really explored African music. Uh, I've had this, but I had the American cover. I think this is the UK cover, the European cover. And I hadn't seen that, and that is really, really, really awesome. This is such a great album. Uh, came out in 1973, as Winwood was looking for other projects. Now you think of Ginger Baker going over to Africa doing his thing. Well, Winwood was too. So, uh, Michael, Michael, thank you very much. <laughs> Speaking of Michael, another great one. You go on to Bandcamp, I believe you, you, you can find this on there. And this is from Michael Christensen, who is currently working on another um, album right now. And I'll have the links to Michael Christensen's channel, and you know, along with Michael Dawson's on there, so you could check this out. This is very electronic. Uh, it's, it is, well, it's, it's guitar. I mean, uh, uh, not really so much electronics, I'm sorry, but it's, it's just really cool electronic jamming happening on here. Electronic, I keep saying that, guitar. Michael Christian is a great guitar player, and he takes you on a journey, kind of a cosmic journey with his guitars on this, and it's kind of psychedelic and trippy. Just a lot of fun. He put this out this year, and it is just such an outstanding album. Looking for something to get somebody. Support a fellow FZ member and get this one here from Michael Christensen. It's called Galactic Clarity. And you know what? I don't think, and Mike, Michael P. Dawson's was called Hurdle Turtled Out of Heaven. You know, you, sometimes you shouldn't tell what those <laughs> that stuff is. Another VC member put out an album this year. Dom from Seeking a Thread also put out an album, his group Material Objects. And this is an EP, Contents vs. Carrier. Contents vs. Carrier. Uh, go on to Bandcamp, you can download it. I did not see where you could get the vinyl on Bandcamp anymore, but if you went to Seeking a Thread, and you've asked Dom, he could tell you if that's still available. And maybe he has copies you can send. This is a uh, post-punk, I would have to say. I uh, am, you know, it, it rocks pretty darn good. But you definitely have, have that, that post-punk type feel to the music. Uh, Dom's voice, really good voice. Uh, and um, I do love his guitar playing. It's a three-piece band. Uh, just Again, support a VC member and try out his music. Perfect for Christmas. Another VC member. And he doesn't do uh, the videos like he used. During, during the lockdown, he was doing videos. Now he's busy. So that, that happens. You can't always, you know, uh, it happens. But Michael, his name's Michael. Okay. 
So Dom, maybe his name really is Michael, but I do have Michael Christensen, Michael P. Dawson, and uh, <laughs> we have uh, more. We have Michael Muller, and his group is Balmoray. He also put out a solo album. Uh, this this one, I believe, this came out last year. This Balmoray, Balmoray, the Wind. And uh, this is more, it's acoustic and piano. Michael plays the acoustic. His partner plays the piano. And they just really make atmospheric music. Uh, some of it's nice and quiet. And, and some of it, you know, kind of moves along at a faster pace. But it's really, really beautiful stuff. And then Michael had out this, this, this is his uh, solo album. And um, it's called, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, what was it called? Um, now I can't read it here. It's really hard to see. Oh, um, Lower River River. <laughs> I'm getting new glasses, by the way. Lower River. Lower River. And uh, it's, it's all black, except for you can see a little bit. See the mountain on top there? Just a beautiful album. Very introspective. Well worth looking into. Balmoray, you can find easily. You can go onto Amazon, find this. You can find it into some record stores, uh, Michael Mueller's albums. So I, I have all, all of his albums. I have all Michael P. Dawson's albums. I think I have all Michael Christensen's and Dom's albums. So well worth looking into. <laughs> some members they might not be making videos but they're always commenting and they're out there they're a big part of it one of them is rocky o and you can see this on discogs you can look into it on discogs there might be ones available out there um but rocky o this he did this it is poetry there's, there's a minimalistic amount of music, but you have like street sounds. Um, and you have other just, you know, everyday sounds that are in there that he's using with his poetry. And it is so interesting, so much fun to listen to. Uh, he did this in 2018. And I just absolutely enjoy this. You know, and I'm not a poetry person, but it's, the way he makes it sound and does it, it's 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 the story is great, uh, very very interesting album. I was so happy to um, have this and to be able to enjoy it. It's, just, it's on black vinyl. Rocky O is his name, and the name of it is Futility's Last Request. Futility's Last Request, really really good. Eating there were birds and angels all about the scene, feeding off the pavement floor. And I swore, I believe I saw Dylan in a record store. In a drastic and hopeless situation, I didn't say a word because I hadn't heard any confession. There were plans I had made that weren't relating to the kingdom, and the rocks and the stones that had settled my bones weren't going in the same direction. Then another one who's commented, and after the flood, he sent me this, and it's Scott Grin. I might be misspelling uh, your name. We'll put it down there. But he had a group called, or still has a group called Dead Beats. And this is one of their albums. And it is uh, 666-1313. Very cool stuff on, on here. It is, um, oh, there's bits of jazz, avant-garde more, uh, rock, oh, electronic. It, it's kind of all over the place. If you pull up, you know, there is, you, you can find that on there. The name of this album, of course, is 6661313 from the Dead Beats. And I, this is just, I, it's just an album I put on just because Scott's such a great guy. He's been a good fan of my channel. Always interesting stories. 
and I, I really, really enjoy this album. So really good stuff. That's a few. If you're looking, what should I do for Christmas? There's some ideas from people that are in the vinyl community that we can support. And you know, if you watch my channel and you put out albums, you gotta let me know because I probably just don't know or I don't have it yet and I'm always looking at things. So thank you everyone. Ho, ho, ho. And uh, we'll see you Sunday. Bye.